In the last video, we tested our likes to make sure that they were working correctly so we can now add likes and remove likes successfully even if there's no other users who have liked it or if there are users who have liked it. And now we started building our comments uh, thread layout and we have just kind of got started here and now we're going to build the toolbar and also the list adapter layout for the list items in the comments. So let's start by building the toolbar. We're gonna to go to the project pane and go to the very top, right click layout, new layout resource, and let's do um, snippet top comments toolbar. Or I guess we can just do snippet comments toolbar. That will be fine. And then go to the text tab and close the project pane. And actually, so that we don't have to type the merge tags, let's go back into the project pane and just get one of the other toolbars and I just want to copy kind of, I'm just going to copy the whole thing. So I'm in the snippet top gallery toolbar. I'm literally copying the whole thing, closing the project pane, going back to our snippet comments toolbar, highlighting everything, pasting that in. And now let's kind of edit this to fit our needs. It's actually going to be very similar, but there is going to be no next button here. Actually, I'm going to leave that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the spinner and then I'm going to align get rid of this align parent right and then just put this to the right uh, the back arrow I think this is named back arrow oh it's named close share well I'm going to change it back to I'm going to change this to back back arrow and then change this to IC back arrow and there we go so now the text in here is going to say comments and there is our toolbar I believe that's what Instagram's toolbar looks like uh, the color is wrong though, this has got to be black. Let's actually just open up Instagram just to double check. I'm pretty sure that's what it looks like though. Yeah, so you just have a back arrow and then comments. That's pretty much it. Okay, so so that should be good. I'm just going to look over this really quick. But that looks pretty good. So now let's go back to our fragment view comments and go up into our relative layout one and just do, uh, what is it? Include and then layout and mention our comments toolbar here and close that tag and there we go so now we have our comments toolbar and now all we need to do is add a list view to this middle relative layout so just go list view match parent match parent and just give it an ID of list view and that's it so now we have our comments kind of layout here now what we need to do is close this and close this and we need to create a new layout file and this is going to be the layout that we use in our comments list adapter class it's going to be the layout for the comments themselves so it's got to have a circle image view, their, their username, the comment, how long ago it was posted, a little reply button, and then this little heart to like it. But I'm actually curious, does Instagram, if I like a comment, it looks like it, oh yeah, it does keep track of the likes. Okay, so it's got to have the username, the comment, how long ago, how many likes it has, reply button, and then an actual like button. Okay, so let's get started on building that layout then. So what are we going to call it? We'll call it uh, just layout comment and go to the text tab and we'll change this to a relative layout, get rid of this orientation and close the project pane so we have more space here. And what are we going to do? We need to set the background color to white. And uh, first thing I guess is to add a circle image view. So let's do 35 dp by 35 dp and give it an ID of comment profile image and margin top 15 dp margin left whoops margin left of maybe 20 dp and do source I see Android just so we know kind of what it looks like here and border color black and then width 0.5 dp and now next to this icon we're going to add another relative layout and do match parent and wrap content for the height and this one can be uh, relative layout one although i'm not sure if we actually even need to give an id and do to the right of the comment profile image and background of gray border oops gray border bottom should be good and that should be it no margin top we need a margin 
margin top and just do 15 dp and it's kind of hard to see let's make the screen size smaller that way we can see this a little a little better here okay so there's our second relative layout and now inside this is where we're going to put everything else and we need yet one more relative layout this one's going to be match parent and rack content and then margin for the right of 60 dp 60 60 dp and inside this one is going to be kind of mo most of this stuff so it's going to be the username the comment time reply and likes and then outside of this relative layout to the right of it we're going to put this little heart icon so let's go text view and wrap content wrap content and let's actually add some text to this so we can see kind of what it looks like so this is what a username would look like right there and give it an id of comment username and text actually margin margin left 15 dp and text color black and text size 18 sp and text style the the name is going to be bold we want to we want to make the name stand out over everything and if you look at the comments or yeah look at the comments the name is actually bold and then the rest are kind of regular or these are kind of grayed out a little bit here okay so now below this one we'll do wrap content wrap content again and this is actually going to be the comment so this is a comment and let's see i could probably copy most of this stuff the margin is going to be a little smaller we don't need 15 dp we can just do 5 dp for the margin and text size should be the same we want to do to the right of the comment username i just want to actually take a second here to point out that if you were actually building this for production, you should definitely do different screen, different layout sizes for different screen sizes, because as you can see, I have the Nexus one here and it doesn't look good, right? Like the, the text is way too big. If you were actually to use, if you were to use a small screen size, you might want to do something like 13 SP, maybe 13 SP and that would look a little better. But basically what I'm, I'm building it for something like this, a bigger screen size. Uh, and so I'm going to use 18 SP, 18 SP, and for that it looks normal, right? Like that looks okay. So, just kind of a side note: if if you were building this for production, definitely you want to incorporate different screen sizes or the the ability to handle different screen sizes. And I don't have any videos on that currently, but if you, I wasn't planning on making one for a while, but if you guys really want me to, I can definitely take the time and produce an extra video showing you how to incorporate different screen sizes. It's pretty simple. All right, so next one, let's actually just copy this and I'm going to change it to meet our needs. This one's gonna be the time, so three days ago. I'll just throw some text in there and the color is going to be gray and the size is just gonna be, let's do 14. Actually, maybe even 13 SP, make it really small and we don't we just want to we don't need this to the right of and we gotta give it an ID of comment time posted actually I'll keep with the convention that I've been doing let's go comment time posted and we'll do a margin on the top just uh, 15 dp and then a margin left I already have margin left I already do have a margin left up here so let's make that also 15 dp and I'm going to put that next to the other margin. So let's zoom in here and take a look. Take a look at that. And we definitely need, looks like a bigger margin on the top, that's for sure. There we go. Let's make it 30 dp. And that looks much better. Actually, instead of just doing the 30 dp margin, margin top, let's do 15 dp. And then let's orient this so it's below the comment. So go below ID and just do, I think it was, what did we call it? We just called it comment, didn't we? comment username to, oh, I didn't even give it an ID, so I'm gonna give the comment an ID, there we go. And this one is gonna go below the comment, there we go. And the reason why I put it below the comment and not below the username is obviously because the comment can be much longer. So it is important to have it below the comment and not just below the username or you might get overlap. Okay, let's do the next one. And this is gonna be the number of likes, so I'm just gonna put like 
you know, 20 likes. Say this thing was very popular. Just do comment, likes, and everything is gonna be the same, except it's gonna be to the right of the comment time posted. Just like on Instagram, let's take another look here. Looks like my screen locked. And yeah, just kind of right next to it there. And this is actually not how it is, so it should actually just say 3D, and then 20 likes, and then there should be a little reply button finally. So let's copy this one last thing, paste it in, and this is gonna be comment, reply, and we're gonna do below that that's the same, and instead, this has gotta be beside the likes. So there we go. And of course, change the text to say reply. And it actually, I think, I believe these are bold, so let's change this text style to bold and copy that. And also the reply button is gonna get that text style of bold. Cool, so if we zoom out, that looks pretty much what we're after. The picture could be a little bigger. Let's make that a little larger. So scrolling up to the image, let's make it 45 dp and 45 dp. Okay, so now we just need to put that little heart kind of in the side there, That's and that should be pretty much it. So let's go down to the bottom. I'm gonna go outside of that relative layout and create an image view. And just do, let's do 45, actually it's quite small, so 35 dp by 35 dp, and give it an ID of comment like. The other ID is comment likes, so this is plural and this one is not plural. And we'll do align parent right uh, true. And we we'll just do a small margin right of just 20 dp just to keep it away from the side there. And scale type will be center. And we need to set the source to our, our red, no, I guess our white heart to start. Just to see what it looks like. We can set the white heart there. And center vertical to true. And that should be good. Oh, I think because the scale type. So let's get rid of the scale type. And there we go. Cool. That's actually kind of big. Let's give it just like 20 dp because I think the heart's actually like really small. There we go. That's good. Okay. So that looks pretty much what the Instagram feed looks like. There should be actually a margin on the bottom of everything though. So I'm going to add a margin to that relative layout. Uh, this one right here here just do a margin bottom of like 30 dp maybe not 30 20 dp and that's going to push that down a little bit so that should be good though let's take another look i think that looks pretty much exactly it there actually isn't that line see that gray line that i added but i actually like that better so i'm going to leave that there and i am going to increase the text size of these little guys here so let's make this just 14 and 14 and 14 just a tiny bit bigger and that's it so we are going to stop the video here I'm guessing it's quite long it takes forever to build layouts and in the next one we're gonna start building our list adapter class for the comments so I'll see you in that next video